Hello, fellow Daz community members. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to my tutorial series. Now, today I want to talk about something that is very helpful, and I hope you know a little bit about it, and that is how to search for your content that you have saved in Daz Studio. Now, to start off with, I set up a scene that I was using as a promotional picture where Milica here is just kind of laying in a field of flowers and I have her posed, I have her clothes simulated, and I thought I would just show you this picture because I need to add something that I always find very frustrating to find and that is going to be shoes. So she doesn't have any shoes on. I want to add some shoes to her. And to do this, the easiest way is with a search. Now, before we get into searches, you probably are aware that you can categorize your props and figures in Daz Studio. And I have done that. I have uh, different categories and I have folders that are saved for things that I can easily access. And this is really for a different tutorial. I have some information about this in an early tutorial that I made back when I first started making videos. I'm thinking about updating that a little bit and showing you how I have this set up. But hopefully you have this kind of categorized. And I have, uh, for example, all of my figures categorized into what type of figure they are. So I have Genesis 3, Genesis 8, female, male, I have Genesis 9. Milica, of course, our cutie Milica is a Genesis 8 female figure. So I can go in here and I have different folders set up for Genesis 8 um, from accessories to anatomy, clothes, characters, hair, makeup, poses, etc. But I have found that finding something like shoes is a major hassle because if I go to clothes, I actually don't have a shoes category. I could make one kind of painstakingly add the shoes to a folder. But you know, shoes are one of those things that some items of clothing come with shoes, some don't. So you may look at some dresses, for example, find a pair of shoes that goes with it, or it may not. So it's much easier to do a search. Now to do a search, you just go up in your content library up to the bar up here, and you can just type in whatever you want. So I can type in shoes, for example, and I can run a search. So I can just hit enter, or I can hit the little magnifying glass. Now before we search, there's actually two ways to search. And that is this little box here. And if I click it, it's going to ask me how I want to search. Do I want to search with files or do I want to search with database? Now it's defaulted to database because what it's going to do is it's going to look at all of your folders that you have created in Daz Studio and it's going to search for any shoes in the database. So if I keep it at database and run a search, it's going to search through all of your Daz database. Now with file, file is kind of a more extensive search. It's going to search every file for the word shoes and then it's going to show it to you. So we're going to do both. I'm going to do database first since it's the default and I'm just going to hit my magnifying glass and you can see it just gives me a whole array of different items that the database has for shoes. And we're going to talk about how to actually find some things here in a minute, but let's go back and let's look at, um, our number here, it says I have 290 hits in the database with shoes. Now let's compare that to the file. So if I select file and then hit the search, it's going to look for every file. Now this is going to take a little while. 
All right, now, after doing the file search, instead of having 290 items, now I have 571, because it's picking up anything that has the word shoes in it. So that's really cool. You can search either way, but if you can't find what you want, and sometimes for me, I know I have an item that I'm searching for. I just don't remember where I stuck it, what file folder it was in. And so I run a search and then I don't see it. That might be because you are under database. If you go to file, you might find it because file is going to be a more extensive search. Okay, so let's find a pair of shoes that we like for Milica. Now, as I do this, see, one of the big problems I have is that when I run a search, it's searching everything. So, for example, it's going to be hitting on the props, it's going to be hitting on the materials, the textures. So you don't know really what you're looking at. Odds are you're not looking at the prop itself. And we can't load the shoes onto our character if we don't have the prop selected. So what I can do is I can hover over the item. Now, first of all, when I hover over the item, under file path there, it's going to tell me what character it belongs to. Remember, I have Genesis 3, Genesis 8, Genesis 9, and I need to find a pair of shoes that are going to match our Genesis 8 Milica character. And so I can hover over, and under file path there, you can see that these particular shoes are Genesis 8. So these shoes would work, these like high platform shoes. I can hover over any type of shoe. This one is also for Genesis 8, really nice. So you can kind of see. Now, I have all of these shoe items, but how am I gonna know where the actual prop is? So see, this is a pose. It kind of says uh, shoes pose, shoes pose. Um, this may or may not be the prop. So if I find a shoe or an item that I like, uh, rather than trial and error, all I have to do is right click on the item and it gives me this menu. So what I'm interested in is this show asset in and it's going to give me another drop down menu. And what I want to do really is I want to select, I could select two things, I suppose, products, if the item was purchased through Daz Studio, it'll go to the products. So you can select that. But I have a lot of items that I've purchased or that I've gotten for free that are not Daz products. So what I want to do is I want to hit the mapped folder and click on mapped folder. And when I do that, it's going to take me right to where the item is located in my content area. So this particular item is found in an evening dress. So see how I have a drop down menu. If I click on that evening dress and now I can actually find the shoes. See here they are right here. So anything with green is going to be the actual prop. And then see if I go to materials, I can choose that item and I can change the materials. They're going to always be in yellow. So like poses and materials, textures will be in yellow, whereas the actual prop is going to be in green. So if I want to add these shoes, I have to find the prop. So once I have the prop, I can just double click. And in this case, when I do that, it changed her pose. So I may have to repose her. But now she is wearing those shoes. Now, since I'm in the item where the shoes are located, I can change the materials and we can change whatever we want if that item has different textures. And I'm going to reset this because I really love the pose Milika's in. So... I probably need to find some different shoes for her. Hopefully this kind of helps you cut down the time it takes for you to set up a scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find 
a nice pair of shoes for Milica that doesn't change her pose. So I can just keep her in that same pose. And then we'll render up this picture and see what it looks like. You know, I am not an expert on this. I've been working on it for a long time, but I am no expert. Some of you know more than I do, and that's what I love about this is this is a community. I'm making the videos, but I really appreciate all of the knowledge and insight coming from you all in your comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I really encourage you to help support my channel, make it grow. It's a tiny little channel, but you know, I'm plugging along. I keep getting new subscribers every week and I really appreciate that. So like, subscribe and give me some comments. All right. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.